Hello, and welcome back to another Traker video, where today I am going to plant a flag on the Mun without actually sending the Kerbal to the Mun. So this is going to start by Valentina planting the flag on the launch pad. So there she is planting the flag on the launch pad next to this platform made of structural panels. You can see I take a while typing in the name of the flag. There we go. And you may have noticed this large hammer to the left. And this large hammer will be used to go what the hammer will do is it will break it will break the flag out of the ground, meaning the Kerbal Valentina can then push the flag. So I then use Valentina to push the flag up this ramp here, and then I go all the way up to the Mun on this ramp. No, just joking. There's a rocket at the end of this ramp. That would be, um, that would be probably, that would be impossible in Kerbal Space Program to have a ramp go all the way to the Mun. But, so here you can see I have to sort of align the flag properly so it doesn't get caught on those sides there. I have to have a thinner bridge going straight to the rocket there, so that the rocket doesn't get caught on it. After a bit of fiddling about with it, I eventually get the flag connected to a claw that is attached to the rocket. Once that has happened, I then immediately click on the probe core to set control from here, because if I don't, the rocket will lose control. And then I put the then I retract the arm that the that the claw is on to put the flag in a cargo bay. And then I do a quick save and a quick load. Because I found out the hard way that for some reason attaching a flag to a claw causes you to have absolutely no control. The quick save and quick load fixes that. So here I am launching the rocket. Now I do have a little bit of an inefficient ascent because because I was a bit silly. I launched it with a not very powerful second stage the first time that I managed to reach space. And so I took a lofted trajectory this time forgetting that I had a powerful terrier engine on this flight. I don't know how I completely forgot I swapped the engine with a more powerful one, but I did. So I took a bit I took a bit too much of a lofted trajectory, which probably caused a few inefficiencies. So here we are on the third stage. And then I time warp over to Apoapsis where I put it into orbit. And then I look for the MUN and I do a MUN injection burn with maneuver node. And then I time warp to the maneuver node. And then I do the burn. So there I am doing the burn. Now, I did originally intend to actually land this stage on the Mun and extend the arm out a bit, but you may notice that it doesn't have enough delta V to actually land on the Mun. So this will involve a little bit of litho breaking, this landing. So here we come, above one of the large craters, and I'm going to time warp till we're close to the surface, and here you can see I am doing a burn to slow down, 
And then once I fully deplete the fuel, so you can see I'm slowing down there, and then I fully deplete the fuel. So I rotate it so it's nose first, so the nose acts as a crumple zone, so that the flag survives the initial impact. And you can see, despite this crash, the flag actually survived the impact because I rotated it around and used the nose as a crumple zone. However, the flag ended up spinning around and rolling for ages. So you can see I skipped ahead there because that was literally like 10 minutes straight of it rolling. Anyway, I've got the flag to the mun now, so remember if you didn't enjoy the video to dislike and unsubscribe and maybe you won't watch the next video.